of AndroidCentral.com. We're here at, still here at EFAB 2013 in Berlin. We're at the Samsung booth with the Samsung gamepad here with the Galaxy Note 3. And if we pan around a little bit, Alex has got his hands on a working one. So, Alex, do you want to talk us through what you're doing a little bit? Okay, so this is really simple. It's um, basically a gamepad slots into the uh, Note 3 here. Um, imagine it also works with the Samsung phones. Um, and so we've got a few games on here. We're just playing Sonic right now. Uh, much more natural experience playing this kind of game on a gamepad compared to uh, a touchscreen. So you've got these analog sticks here. Uh, this, this one here is more of a D-pad and uh, four regular buttons. The controls do take a little bit of getting used to. This isn't uh, the analog sticks here aren't the same as they would be on a normal sort of PlayStation or Xbox controller. It's more of a, a PSP style thing where you have, you have to sort of push it in one direction or the other. Uh, it's not tilted on, on kind of a, a spindle the way it's the same way that uh, a normal game pad, pad would be. But you still get the tactile feedback from the buttons. It's still really really easy to uh, play platformers like this. And uh, we've got a few other games loaded on here. Let's see what we can get. So worth mentioning, we've also got a few controls down here. We've got select and start. The game brings up the game menu on the phone. And uh, of course, we have a power slider down there as well. Uh, pretty comfortable to actually hold and use. You've got triggers around the back as well for games that use those. Because this thing is Bluetooth, we can also run it uh, from the Note at a distance. We've got it hooked up to the TV there in the stand. And uh, we can charge around playing Prince of Persia on our big Samsung HDTV here. So as you'll see, if I was any better at Prince of Persia, um, it's really easy to, uh, to run this on a larger display with the hookup we've got down there and uh, use the gamepad to control it at a distance. So we're really looking at kind of a, a crossover between the traditional console and the mobile device here. It's interesting to see. And I've just died, so I think we're going to wrap it up here. Um, so from here in Berlin, we'll see you next time.